um, Stavros has been around in um, Western Massachusetts for about over 40 years. We have helped people with disabilities of all ages and with all different kinds of disabilities to live independently and truly uh, be able to make their own choices and decide what they're going to do with their lives, how they want to live their lives and where they want to live their lives. We have a variety of programs from uh, the ramp building program where we built with community support, we built ramps for people with disabilities to uh, programs for kids that are turning uh, 14 or 16 years old that are looking for what is their next step in life, how they're going to either go to college, go to a vocational school, or just go to work. So there's a lot of programs out there that help, through Stavros, that help people with disabilities remain in the community. I'd like to welcome everybody. Thank you for coming to, um, to honor our special guest, Gloria Tupacaisis. Um, I hope everybody enjoyed their lunch. Did everybody enjoy it? Yes. yes. All right, that's what I want to hear. So um, I want to get all of this started. So I am first would like to introduce our distinguished board of directors. Um, if you could just give a little wave. Um, Audrey Milgate, Justin Pellis, and this is Nancy Bazanchak. She's our vice president of the board of directors. Okay, so while we're waiting for Gloria, <coughs> on the behalf of the board, I'd like to thank everybody for coming. Um, and Starbros, as most of you have known, services people with um, disabilities and helps keep people in the community living in their homes. And we're here to honor all of our volunteers, not just. Gloria, but so we have a nice table over here of volunteers that I'd like to also say thank you for all your hard work. Um, and we wouldn't be able to do our job without you guys um, here in the community. And thank you very much. Just a little about Starbucks. We have three offices, one in Springfield, one in Amherst and one in office in Greenfield. So we cover all of Western Mass. Um, and we have this the scheme of adult from children to adulthood um, and a wide range of different services, including we have um, a deaf and hard of hearing programs, um, PCA programs, um, a home sweet home programs which builds ramps lots of cool stuff so if people want to learn more about it they can go to starbros.org so that's a little bit about starbros and now we'll get to our our program special. our special guest gloria so gloria is, has been a strong supporter of starbros and a strong supporter of people with disabilities in Western Mass for the last 20 years. She has volunteered to provide assistance to people with disabilities that have health issues that are able to manage their are not un, unable to manage their pers personal care assistance program, PCA programs. Um, she is a volunteer sur surrogate. Um, she has made the world a difference to people that may otherwise may need to be institutionalized due to their disabilities. Gloria, Gloria has been a part of the Women's Army Corps. She has served during two years, um, two years during the during peace time. As a veteran, she's volunteered in the efforts to encourage all women veterans to register as women in military service to American Memorial. Um, she is involved with dance, um, with the dan Dance Keepers, is it? Dance Keepers, yeah. yeah. And has done that for many years and has gotten lots of different people to dance, um, and she has been on public television 
um, and has done a lot of different stuff in the community. Gloria is um, a what? Tired, but she she keeps going and keeps giving back to her community. And from Starbrook, we would like to say thank you for your 20 years of helping us out. You're welcome. So Gloria, come on up. So Gloria, first we'd like to present this event for outstanding service for your 20 years of volunteering for Stavros. I will pin you. You want me to do that? Go you for a picture for Angelina here. Oh, wait, yes. Angelina. Come on, oh here you have a picture. Yeah. Oh. Congratulations. And you know Thank what? you very much Thank for you. everything. This is my symbol for my dance uh, program that I did, the dance capers, the competition. When I designed that, it encompassed all the different styles of dance. So I'm, I'm thrilled. This is absolutely oh. beautiful. Nancy is going to read what we had as she had the rock for Gloria. She can't. I don't have my glasses. I don't have my glasses. No, it's okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I think. Um, Gloria, I'm not even going to try to say your last name. Don't even bother. Um, for ex ex extraordinary service and dedication to independence of people with disabilities. Starbucks. Oh, thanks. Thank you so much. Thank you. And Gloria, just so you know, this this little piece of tape is here because this scar can come out. Come out. It comes out. Oh, so that's holding that's holding the scar. Oh very, very this nice. is for you to enjoy but you Okay, I thank you so much. One more picture. One more picture. Oh, we'll let you work. Oh, I love it. I love all the attention. <laughs> <laughs> now, can I say a few words? Yep, we're going to let Gloria say a few words, okay. and then I'd like to present, present to the other volunteers after okay. that. Okay. Well, I think what I'd like to do first is, yeah. is thank my family. It's always been very supportive. And my dear friends of everything I've done, from the dance to family parties and so forth. Judy has been by my side, I think, for the last 25 years. Susan is her charge, Mary, that I'm the surrogate for. And my brothers over there in the corner have always been 100% uh, supportive of everything I've done. And my sister Louise and my dear friends, dear close my nephew Bobby, who used to live with me when he was a little kid. They still can call wife. you mother. Yeah, <laughs> still call me mother. And my sister, my niece, Linda. I want to thank everybody here from Starbucks. Starbucks is a wonderful operation, and it's too bad it took too long to get to become a reality. But hopefully, with more publicity, with our TV show, we're going to turn this into a TV show. And not only have it in Northampton, but other cable stations, <coughs> that more word will get out, out there about Star Wars. There are no other words. I mean, I could rattle on and on and on. I've met so many interesting people across my things that I've done between judging and, and just, and the kids. A lot of the kids that, if you look at that bulletin board, started in Dance Capers when they were six and seven, and I get all kinds of letters. They're married, they have kids. And as you know, and my husband knows, throw it out. I don't throw anything out. I've got all my books over there, every letter that every kid wrote me and so forth. And Starbucks, the master book of Starbucks. She does. So I don't know what else to say except I feel very honored 
and I thank you, and I hope it might encourage some people to become part of Starbucks. Yeah, wonderful. A lot, so I'm the baby, so I'm with Titan. Yeah, because I got home Marine, too. And uh, we have Army and Navy, Army and Marines represented. And I forgive her for that. <laughs> but, anyways, you know, I have a classic car, and I've been very fortunate to have gotten some awards and trophies over the years. And at one of the shows, they asked me to say a few words. And as I would like to say to you, all the people that are here today, for everyone that gets an award, there are probably a hundred other deserving fellow enthusiasts, but it today just happens to be my sister's day. But all your hard work is, does not go unrecognized either. So on behalf of your baby brother, now, I think maybe some of you can relate to this. Oh, it's blank. The other guys are funny. He has threatened for years to take out my battery. Yes. Right. They come up with these lithium ones now. You know? yeah. That's wonderful. That is so cute. That is funny. That is definitely our Gloria. She's full of energy. I'd like to call up my next volunteer that we're honoring, Sandra Wright. So Sandra has been a volunteer with our program for many years. How many years are we? I think about 11. About a 10 or 11 years now, and she's <laughs> outstanding. Yes. As much as Gloria is, so uh, is Sandy. And um, I'd like to present you with a pen for oh. your outstanding service. Oh, to thank us. you. Don't stick me. <laughs> thank you, Gloria. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. I'm just, I'm just proud to be here and to be able to help people that really need the help. Because there's a lot of people like me who can't seem to find to get out there in the community for these people. You know, and it's just, I'm still working on trying to find somebody. I'll get somebody here. But they have to be a caring person in order to take care of somebody. Like my brother. You know. Thank you so Thank much. You so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The next volunteer I'd like to honor is Beverly Thornton. Come on up, Beverly. So I would like to present you with this outstanding volunteer pin for all your service to Stavros. <laughs> There you are. <laughs> Beverly's been with us uh, for like three years now, and she's really helped people with disabilities to stay independent and stay living at home. So I'd like to present her with this for all her hard work. So we have a brand new volunteer surrogate. She's actually going to be um, meeting a consumer of ours on Monday, this upcoming Monday. So I'm not going to give her a pin today, but maybe next year. <laughs> um, so I'm going to bring you up. I'd like to present you with a little something from Stavros. She does a lot of work at the office. Yes, and, and I was going to talk about that a little bit. So she came, to, Sandra came to me um, because she wanted to volunteer for, to become a volunteer surrogate. But then as we were um, having our meeting, we were talking about a lot of different things, and then she told me that she'd like to be involved with Deaf and Hard of Hearing Services, which I also am a part of that program at Stavros. So we brought her in as an intern, and uh, she's done a great job at Stavros, so I'd like to thank you for all your work for that. Um, if you want to say a few things, you can. 
Um, I'm excited to get started with the surrogate program. I've had a great experience working at Stavros this year, though. So now I'd like to introduce you to our director of the PCA program, Dan Brady. Just, just a few words, Dan. All right, Dan. Just a few words. I would just like to, uh, to thank everyone here for coming. And also for the special recognition to Gloria uh, for the many, many years of great work with uh, Stavros in the community and being more than just a volunteer surrogate, but also, also helping with uh, the uh, development of that program early on. And also uh, Sandra Wright, uh, another volunteer surrogate that's really a, it's been a, I'm going to say God sent in the community, uh, helping many of our consumers and in rough situations that otherwise would not have the opportunity to to live independently in the community. And I'd like to give a, a, a good word to Laurie. She's done a great job in, uh, in uh, keeping this program together and uh, making the success that it's been for the last 20 years or more from now. Yeah. So thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. Well, Gloria has been with Savros about 20 years, and during those 20 years, she has helped about th uh, a few people stay away from a nursing home. Some of them had been in a nursing home and needed someone to support them and do uh, the, the paperwork that they needed so that they could stay at home. For example, filling out timesheets and hiring personal care attendants. Uh, so during the time that Gloria has been with us, she has helped people stay at home and not have to be institutionalized for a long period of time. Gloria has helped about 15 people with disabilities stay in the community and live independently. Well, they can learn that with time and commitment, uh, they can make a world of difference to people with disabilities in the community. Uh, it's not the same to stay in an institution where you have no real ability to go out and to be with friends and family but when you're at home you are more independent you are able to live longer and thanks to people like Gloria we have been able to make that happen for a lot of people. Uh, so Gloria has been an institution in Western Mass uh, helping not only people with disabilities of the community at large by uh, having uh, dance recitals helping kids to learn how to dance uh, she has also helped uh, women become uh, more involved in businesses and all through her different years of uh, time, uh, volunteer time, she has been able to help not only the, you know, the people that she knows, but the community at large through different networks. Well, originally I saw the ad in the paper and I thought it would be very interesting. And I had to go to Amherst to be interviewed by, at that point in time, Sandy Molesky and they hired me right away. And once she explained the whole program to me, I just felt it would be a good thing to do, that I could fit it in with my very busy schedule. And it has been. I've met many interesting people for the last 20 years. The people that I met, they were very appreciative of the fact, and they enjoyed having me come in on a weekly basis, or a monthly basis. Sometimes I would go every three weeks to double check on them. It, it all depended. And then I had to make sure all the paperwork was in order so their personal care attendants could get paid. But for people that are housebound, it's a delight to have a variety of people come into their home to see them. It lifted their spirits. I think it would be a very heartwarming experience for them. You certainly would have the opportunity to meet a variety of people and sometimes you get upset with just everyday things that happen, and then you visit somebody that's been in a wheelchair for years and can't do some of the things that we take for granted, and that lifts your heart for you to be a part of that. For some reason, I do have a complete Starbucks book that I kept, to, kept all the bulletins and so forth throughout the years, but I really didn't keep track of all my people. I just, I just can remember them and their different illnesses that they have. But 
between my regular life and I still was working, um, I managed to fit them in, and they were all special in their own way and very appreciative. So when somebody appreciates what you're doing, they should feel good. Well, I think Star. I think I would like to see more volunteers get involved with Starbucks. I think once you become part of the group, you'll see all the good work that they do and the um, the reward that it brings to you from the people that you're a surrogate for. Then it's a very worthwhile project if you can fit it in with your lifestyle. I think what happened was a lot of volunteer was volunteer fell off when our gas prices skyrocketed quite a few years ago because I remember at that time more people were leaving. Uh, you do get reimbursed for mileage. However, all the years I haven't taken a reimbursement because this came from my heart and I wanted to help the people.